Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Super Kali, aka Mike, and this is a new series I'm bringing to the channel. It's the Amazing Spider-Man video game. Um, so I've been doing a superhero theme on my channel that started with a few games before this, and this is the next one. So if you're returning to my channel, you're one of my vets, then I hope you enjoy this game like you enjoyed others. If you're new and this has brought you here, then welcome. Feel free to go browse my channel for other series I've been doing, and there's, there might be more after this. Let's see how well it does. But like I said, this is the Amazing Spider-Man video game, the first one. There's also a second one. I have both of them on my computer, because I got them both in like a package deal on Steam. So here goes nothing. Let's play. Oh. Select difficulty. Well. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> I do not want this to be harder than it needs to be. So. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here, and with good reason. I can't. I know it's crazy, but time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. I thought a cutscene was coming, but. What was this? Chapter 1. Oscorp uh, uh, is your friend. It's been months since rogue scientist Kurt Connors unleashed the lizard upon the uh, un upstanding citizens of New York. Completely absolved by any wrongdoing in the eyes of the public, Oscorp has moved on to promoting the act of its newest brilliant mind, Alistair Smythe. Okay. Fifty minutes before the end. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay. Just wait a second. Nature to man. Man to machine. I'm slightly disappointed that it's not the voice actor to the movie. That's all I'm gonna well, say. Definitely safe out here. Just because I never get in. Emma Stone is kind of not here. Be shit. Keep your head down. How do I do that? Of Dr. Oh, am I doing Smythe? it? I can't tell. Wow. Look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots, too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. Uh, oh god. Whoa. Okay. You were the one that had the sedata. How can he still move like that? I'm sorry. I gave him everything we had. Is everyone okay? Gwen? Are you alright? Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Smith. Hey! You kids are in big trouble. What are you doing here? It's okay. It's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Friend. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. So they're friends now, aren't they? I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh, I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked huh? with Connors, right? 
Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross species. So this is a cross species? You promised me that all of Connor's work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connor's did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. What animal is that? I trust rhino? you'll keep everything you see. Oh, well, obviously it's a rhino. Look at it. Oh, it's a monkey. Uh, another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit. But they the lost that monkey. argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight? Out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight the thing at some point. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. Don't that knock on the glass, little Peter. Fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. I wonder if we'd be infected. Oh, I don't think he likes me. That's strange. It, it only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are... unpredictable. I much prefer Whoa. things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What's that? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you won't want to leave. Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B sector. Oh, I don't have time for this. Hey, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wander. It's an order, Miss Stacy? Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. Uh, great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise. Yeah, what is it? I, is that... you got to be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. Uh-oh. What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. Uh, I've never... Oh my god! It's breaking the glass! Oh, I shouldn't have brought you here. Oh my god. 
no, no. We're not taking it. Get me back in there. How do I, how do I, how do I play? Help me! E. Hold E. Web rush mode. Okay. Now what? I got her. Gwen, are you okay? Are you running away? Oh, I'll be fine, thanks. Get okay. me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. How do I open the door? These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species, which oh. I guess you technically are. So, yeah, watch out, Pete. Okay. Oh, now it opened. Oh my god, did you see that? Don't worry, Gwen. Get you out of here. Oh, that's good. Maybe you can web swing across. L shift. L shift and that? Oh, that's too much. Hold. There's a lot of. Get out of us. I don't want to think about what ifs right now. Okay. Nope. Okay. This is going to take me a while getting used to. More robots! Watch out! Now what? Does every robot have to attack me? Say, where do I want to bring her? Quarantine. Are you kidding me? Open. Oh. Uh oh. The door's been sealed. We need to find another way. Oh. Great. Oscorp security system. Quarantine's on the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you. What does this button do? No, 
know. Find a way to open the sealed door from the other side. Oh, shift, shoot. Okay. How's this? I don't. Do I want to keep going? I don't know. Is it good? Is it good? Oh no. Shift. Okay. I guess I wasn't supposed to stop. How long do I have to do this part though? Okay, this must be this must be good. There's another one though, isn't there? <laughs> Crap. What am I doing? Oh, maybe I have to go through it. Duh. Okay. There we go. This L shift is actually really annoying. They're not. They're not close on the keyboard for me. Can we throw? There we go. There we go. Interact. That's a good way to do it. <sighs> Piece of cake. Let's not go back that way. Oh, nope, just kidding. We have to. Look, I'm learning. Did it. I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But... But what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, it mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Osphone on the table. 
The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. Level up, new upgrade available. Tech upgrade available. Access telephone. I'm sorry, is that supposed to be the tab button? Okay, it is. Oh. What is all these? What is all this? Okay, statistics. We got an upgrade available. I don't know what to do. I guess. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and with this one, it levels up. Attention all Oscorp personnel, evacuate Oscorp Tower immediately. If you have been in contact with cross BC specimen, please proceed to the quarantine facility. I'm trying to upgrade, it won't let me. It's being a jerk. How do I upgrade? Oh, press space part. It's right there. There. And then I have one of these I can upgrade. Okay, there. Okay, guys, so that's me for this episode. I'm gonna be twisting these. Naked. Oh. Yes, I got him and the other scientists to the quarantine. But they're all infected. And the cross species. Where are they? I tried to stop them, but they escaped. Well, you caught me, the lizard. Why should these creatures be any different? Uh, you have no idea. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be posting these episodes every day because that is how my superhero theme works. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Don't forget to be kind of one another, though. Okay, now goodbye.